Hi guys and uh, welcome to my video on the review of the new Hollywood Smoother. Um, you would have seen my, may, may have seen my video um, before on the Hollywood browser which is this little tool here. Um, I love it, it's one of my staples, it's always in my makeup bag, I love it, I use it probably every other day, um, yeah it's absolutely brilliant. So I use this on my eyebrows, I use it on my facial hair, I suffer with polycystic ovarian syndrome and I have bad case of facial hair. Um, so this little thing is very, very helpful for those times where you're kind of caught out a little bit and you don't realise you've got a bit of something going on around the chin. Um, but yeah, in, and obviously is great for the peach fuzz. So when you're wanting to take off that top layer of like the really fine little hairs on your face, um, this is really, really great and it will make your foundation and skincare go on like a dream. You'll get more benefit from your skincare as well. So, um, yeah, always great. Um, I then received this lovely thing. I have to say, first and foremost, I love the packaging. Um, anyone that follows me knows what I'm like. I am a sucker for good packaging and this is just lovely. Um, so, obviously, take this off and it reveals the lovely um, Hollywood Smooth. I'll just take it out of this little pod there um it's it's lovely it's a nice size so you know it's not it's about the same size as my hand um so still really good for traveling around um really good for your makeup bag so that's always a good love the design um yeah it's absolutely lovely 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 design and i also got um the puff as well so that was really really nice so i got that as well so i'm just gonna what i'm gonna do is i've, I've just kind of tried it a little bit on my face and um, but what i wanted to do was almost, was try it with you guys so i'm gonna do, do it on the video so we can see how we get on um so i'm gonna do my cheeks here um and my forehead just to see what we can take off because um it takes off the um dead skin cells as well and debris which apparently kind of is, is so much better um for the absorption of any skincare you do so if you're somebody like me who likes to do masks in the evening or you know you, you take your skincare really seriously then this is a great little tool to help you along the way um and yeah not as expensive as uh dermaplaning so um but it actually does the job for you. So here we go, so I'm gonna turn it on. It is electric, whereas the other one is manual. Um, so that's got a little thing at the bottom here to put your um, AAA battery in. It comes with a AAA battery in it, so that's always good. Um, so we're gonna pop that on, the little light comes on. Um, this light will change color when you need to change your battery, so that's always nice to know as well, so you won't get uh, sort of caught out. So I'm just gonna go in here, um, and I'm just going to come down my face and I don't know if you can't if you can see that in this video but I can definitely see it flying around um and look on there you can already see with just a couple of strokes it's taken off that um that peach fuzz um it's flying off my face and I'm literally like just touching the skin it's amazing literally just touching it so and, and I, I've just like I said literally just before I did the video I came, I just literally tried a little patch. So I was a little bit wary about doing this sort of like on a video that I'm gonna post on my YouTube and I might, you know, catch myself out a bit or something, but so far so good. Um, I can see, I can see it physically coming off. I don't know if you guys can. Um, it's, yeah, it's lovely. It's so soft as well. Um, you really don't have to work hard with this at all. Um, it's not frown while we do that, Sammy. Um, yeah, you, you don't really have to work too hard. Um, it's literally taking off that top layer of peach fuzz that your foundation gets caught up in a lot of the time, which is why you have to work so hard sometimes to, um, to get your um, foundation on, you know, nicely. Or get that kind of almost like airbrushed look. This is going to help you. Um, let's try this way. And I don't know if you can hear it, but I can hear it. The hair coming off. Fantastic. Lovely nifty. I'm just going to let's turn it off. So it's not waste the battery. And my skin feels lovely and soft. 
really really nice I'm, you know i'm really looking forward to putting on my skincare tonight now and i'm actually do you know what i'm just moved i'm actually getting stuff off on my hand as well so what i'm going to do after this is i'm actually going to use my exfoliator after this and just give my face a nice little clean over and um, get rid of any of those little bits that have been left behind um but i have to say first first try of this um I'm yeah I'm actually really quite pleased with it. I'm going to take it down a little bit and see how it copes with my sideburns because I've got quite big sideburns and I do use the Hollywood browser to take those off you know you can hear it but it's not pulling at my hair which is lovely oh look at that it's nice and smooth lovely that's just taken that off for me perfect let's do this side it's cutting through that Horse hair pretty good actually um i do sometimes struggle a little bit when you're trying to get rid of these lovely little sideburns i don't take them all off because i think they just look really weird um but what i'm hoping is going to happen is when i go to apply my foundation that's going to go on a lot smoother than it normally does because what i find as well um is things i've used over the years so i've used imac on my face i've had it waxed i've had all sorts of home waxing been to the shops and had it waxed and what happens is is where they kind of come up here and they wax because i literally get hair all down here where they wax i then when i put my foundation on you can't see it head on but if you look to the side you can see that it doesn't sit the same in this area as it does in this area and I think that's probably because when you've waxed it or imacked it, or particularly if you've imacked it, you've kind of you know, taken all of the little hairs off. It was similarly to actually with the waxing. But even when I used to use, I don't know if anyone ever used it, like Jolim, so like hair bleach, um, and it would do exactly the same. It was just really, like, really bizarre. But that feels really lovely and smooth. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to carry on using it um, on my face um, just to get the, the little peach fuzzy bits off. Um, I was going to go down and do all my chin and everything, but I literally used, I actually used the Hollywood browser earlier and actually did that because I, I had a meeting and I didn't want anyone to see my beard. So I used this one as well. So now I've got two lovely products in my, in my bag, but you can see there, look, the stuff that comes off your face. And this, this is just while I've been at home. So you can imagine, you know, when you're traveling around the city and stuff and all the debris that goes onto your face, you know, all the sort of um environmental bits and bobs that your face absorbs over the day yeah that's really really nice so my face feels lovely um like i say i'm going to use my exfoliator now and just give my face a little exfoliation i'm going to clean this because it's still got some um, i don't know if you can see but it's got some bits and bobs on it um so i'm going to give that a good clean um but i have to say all in all um I'm as impressed with this product as I have been with the manual one. Um, you do have to change the heads on these. Um, uh, it, it does tell you in your little booklet how often you need to change them. You actually can tell when the blade starts to sort of dull a little bit on the outside there. So you can see, it, see it's quite shiny when that starts to dull or if you're having to go over the same, um, same spot more than twice or three times, then change it. Um, I think the you get like a pack of the heads for about 20 quid. Um, this itself is, I think it retails at 49.99, I wanna say. Um, but I'm, I'm really impressed with that. I think that's amazing. You can use that on your stomach. Um, some people think I'm a little bit weird when I say that, but I do use razors and stuff on my stomach. So this is even better because you could just get, you've got one thing and you can use it for all. So you can use it for your stomach. You can use it for your, your face. Um, it doesn't recommend that you use this for your eyebrows. And I'm assuming it's probably because it's a quite a big blade and yeah, quite near your eye. But I do use this Hollywood browser to do my eyebrows. Um, however, they do do a specific one for eyebrows, which is actually a slightly smaller blade at the top, which is probably going to be easier to manoeuvre around your eyebrows. So that might be my next purchase. Um, but yeah, well done, Hollywood Browser. I think this is a great product. Um, it definitely does the job. Um, we will see what the results are like um tomorrow when i apply some foundation um but for tonight i'm going to exfoliate this lovely smooth skin that i now have um and we'll see what the results are like in the morning but so far so good love it
Thank you very much, Hollywood Browser. Well done.